What's going on, everybody? I wanted to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor. Thank you so much again to Diamond Select. We completely recommend their collectibles. Love y'all over here, bro. I was headed outside this morning, and when I opened the door, the biggest box was sitting outside. I'm not even sure what's in it, but I know where it came from. So I'm here to open it with y'all. Okay. This is going to be nice. Miles Morales resin bust. This, I'm not sure if this just came out, but I definitely had this on my list. It's, these are limited to 3000. This is number 105 of 3000. From Gentle Giant, of course. It's all under the same umbrella, if you're wondering. Ooh. So much like the X-Men resin bus that they sent us last time. Oh, man, that is color. I love this. I'm not going to lie. I like this even more. It's not that, I mean, he didn't have his own cartoon series, so I guess this is more just comic style. But the, the uh, detail in the paint is sick. Oh, is it a, it's kind of a, um, the, the way the light bounces off of his uh, eyeballs, it's like shimmery. That is sweet. Very cool anatomy. He's not too big, because of course, Miles is a young man. He's usually um, depicted as 16, 15 through 17 maybe. So he's not gonna look like a bodybuilder, but he's still, for a kid, a little kid, he's definitely buff. Man, that, that is clean. But that's, that's our first box. It's plenty more to go. What is this? <gasps> Ooh, <laughs> what? Legends in three dimensions. This is a half scale bust. Oh, this, this is clean. Wait a minute. After being wounded, it's got the origin of Iron Man on the back of this box. This is number 650 of 1000. So these are a little harder to come by than the smaller bus here. This, this is looking um, extremely professional. This thing is heavy. Before we get to the important parts, let me just say that this base is very nice. This thing is it's kinda heavy. You could bop somebody over the head with this pretty smooth. Um, but no, this is not a weapon. This is a work of art, y'all. This It's not even much to explain here. He looks awesome. This is the classic armor, in my opinion, like, Arguably the best one. This is the one where he got the big disc things on his hips. Back when he was uh, thick with two C's. This this is fire. I almost feel like I'm holding a drink. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I can't even look at this. Ooh. <laughs> okay. We have moved over to Star Wars. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me open this. This is number 561 out of 3000. This is a seven scale Kylo Ren statue. Okay, the reveal. Okay. We got our boy looking sick. He's not even holding his weapon yet. And this is after he bashed his helmet in and had to glue it back together. I didn't even realize that in the pictures. Standard rock base, nice uh, mud detail on the boots. This cape has got different texture than the rest of his, uh, all of the fabrics he got on have different textures. This is kind of like leathery or rubbery feeling. 
this stuff, I don't even know what that feels like, but I like it. And then he's got this uh, padding on his vest. That looks amazing. Okay. Perfect addition to the Star Wars shelf. I'll be setting that up later. <laughs> yes, I should have picked this up last. There's no way, I don't know what else is in that box, but there's no way it's gonna be cooler than this. The Mandalorian with the best car on. Okay, okay. Calm down. This one is number 1348 out of 3000. Look at my boy go. I mean, he not going nowhere, but he clean though. I love the paint on this. First of all, his helmet got a nicer paint job than my car. They have very dope sand slash mud effects on his boots, which seems to be a thing with all of the Star Wars stuff so far. That same dust and weathering is also on his cape. The cape is not just flat either. It's, it's nice texture sculpted into it. You got all his ammunition. He was st he still didn't get all his money up because this piece is not best guard yet, just yet. But if you watch the show, you know you, you don't just you're not just coming across this stuff easy. You, he got to put the work in for it, which he does. This is the coolest dude on Star Wars now. I know he like the newest character, but I don't care. This is the coolest Star Wars character. This is now my coolest Star Wars statue. And I love it. This is the coolest thing in the box so far. But it's not the last thing in the box. So let's see what else we have. It says Infinity War. Ooh. Ooh. What? My boy. Uh, Legends in three dimensions. Another half scale resin bust. This one, of course, is the Hulk. The Mark Ruffalo one. This is number out of three, 135 out of a thousand. Oh, oh, this is, he's a big boy. This is bigger than I thought it would be. There's some things to appreciate here real quick for you. First of all, there are pores all over this man's skin. He's got razor bumps. It's not just one flat green neither. It's some nice shading and detail going into this paint. But the, the best part to me, do y'all see, do you see the Hulk's fade? Zoom in on the fade for me real quick. <laughs> I am impressed with his haircut. What the heck, man? That's sweet. It's fade better than mine. I'm not even gonna take my hat off now. What? Yo, this is clean. Look at the veins. It's a lot of detail in this. Very realistic veins in his neck. He got a little bit of the hot dog on the back is, you know what I mean? This is sweet. This is awesome. <sighs> Thank you so much. Diamond Select for another extremely generous, I don't even know what to call it, a statue hall? This is, this is some dope stuff. Hold on, let me get a, let me get a family portrait. Just wanted to say thank you again to Diamond Select. If you're looking to get into collecting, this is the first place to start. They got, as you can see, a little bit of everything. Really, a lot of everything. If you look around this room, you can find the rest of the stuff they have because I frequent most of their merchandise. And as you can see, it is dope. It comes at various price points. So it's a little something for everybody's pocket, no matter what, what range you're dealing with. They got you covered, man. But um, I'll probably sit and stare at this stuff for at least another 15, 20 minutes before I put it on the shelf. Hopefully, 
y'all go out and cop some of these because I can't be the only one that think this stuff is cool. I'll see y'all in the next video. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And visit the website, man. It's a bunch of good stuff on it. All of them. But that's it for me. I'm gonna go find a space on the shelf for you.